Hello everyone. In this course, we are going to learn Angular JS, and this course is specially designed for .NET developer or ASP.NET MVC developers. So, this course is nothing but Angular JS for .NET developers from scratch. And about your author, that is me. I am Muhammad Manzoor Ahmed, and I am a Microsoft certified trainer. Now, before we get started with Angular JS, let us try to understand what is SPA, the buzzword of the market. SPA, why do I need SPA? Then why do I need Angular JS? And what is Angular JS? A bit theory. I'm not going to teach you the history. Just a bit theory about why do I need and what is. So first of all, why do I need ASP.NET SPA? Here, SPA stands for single page app or single page application. The story is same. The old story that is what I want. I want a responsive website. I want to reduce page reloads. I want to reduce response time. In short, I want an app similar to Windows in look and feel. Or in response time, and it should work like web application. So we need a user experience similar to desktop application, and I want to speed up the page loads and navigations, the flickering effect that your normally end user faces. In short, we need a responsive app or web app without. Constant page reloads. I don't want to see full page reloads. So that's why SPA. Now, what is SPA? What I what I will do in SPA in single page app in the initial page load, I'll get all the HTML, all the JavaScript, all CSS, whatever is required, all the data which is required to work with in initial page load on a single page. And then I start downloading the appropriate features on some request. So there will be a request to the server behind the scene, and the server will send the response, and that response gets updated on the client silently. Client will not have the complete page reload; it just updates the particular part. So that is what without reloading the complete page. The best example for SPA is Gmail. What is SPA? SPA gets the complete code in the single page load on the single page, and whatever is required throughout the process will get updated to the same page. There will be no navigations to new pages. Now let us try to understand the same thing with a visual diagram. So normal page lifecycle, you have a server, you have a client. Client sends the request. Server sends the response. Now you will see a complete page reload at the client. Now for a post back, server sends the response. Now the complete page gets reloaded again. You see that this is normal page life cycle, but your SPA page life cycle is bit different. Client will send initial request. In the initial request, I get the response. And I get all the initial data. For the next post back, server will send the response and it will update the client side. It is not going to reload the complete page. Now, how to achieve SPA single page app? Yes, we can achieve with the help of JavaScript frameworks such as Angular JS, Knockout JS, Ember JS, many more. You might have been hearing lot of. JavaScript frameworks. So Angular JS is one of them. Now, why do I need Angular JS? Because it supports SPA and it supports bidirectional data binding. Simple bidirectional data binding. Now, what is bidirectional data binding? We will see. We will implement that. That means if I update the data in the model, it gets automatically reflected in the view. If I update the data in the view, it gets automatically reflected in model. So you can achieve MVVM or MVC. 
so i want a simple development and testing process and i want a framework that should support mv whatever that is mvc or mvvm at client side and one more important thing you might have observed when you are working with your mvc project all your cs html pages will have html as well as javascript mixed up you have various jquery based ajax calls to the service and your html and javascript get mixed now i want to keep these two things separately and i want reusability if there is jquery based ajax call to the server and if i want the same call to be made on another page then what do i need to do i need to copy that part and paste it over there and use it so there is no reusability concept with your javascript code so i want to achieve that so that's why i need angular js so i want a framework that keeps html and javascript separately now what is angular js it is a javascript based open source web application framework mainly maintained by google so it is developed by google and it is maintained by google. as i told you earlier its aim is to simplify both development as well as testing of client side mvc or mvvm now what do you mean by client side mvc and server side mvc we will see that in a future lecture so it was first released in 2012 so that's it for the theory part let us jump into implementation in our next video thank you very much Thank <laughs> you.